chronic alcoholism is defined as tolerance to alcohol and dependence on alcohol. And that means the person who is an alcoholic drinks more and more and more in order to feel the effect of alcohol. And when he stops drinking, he starts to feel sick. And that means he has uh, withdrawal symptoms, and that's what we call dependence. The cause of alcoholism is multiple. There is a genetic cause, there is an environmental cause, and there is a social cause. Uh, basically, with alcohol, since it's a legal substance, uh, you can easily get to it. But not everybody possesses the genetic make makeup to become addicted to alcohol. At the same time, alcohol is accepted. It is used in social uh, gathering, and therefore it makes it easier for the person to start to abuse alcohol and therefore become dependent on it. The symptoms of chronic alcoholism can be anything from uh, insomnia, and we really call that interrupted sleep, because you go to bed, you sleep for a couple of hours, and you wake up again. Uh, you feel irritable, uh, you feel very anxious, and if you don't have alcohol in your system, you start to sweat, you start to shake, and these are the main symptoms of chronic alcoholism. Uh, we tell our patients who are alcoholic that uh, anything can trigger their relapse into alcoholism, such as starting to drink a small amount, thinking it's going to be okay, being around people who are drinking, or using other substances that are not alcohol, such as benzodiazepines, opiates, cannabis, and so on. So we tell them to restrict all these things. Alcoholism can be prevented if one has a family history of alcoholism. And we tell people in whose family there are uh, mother, father, grandparents who are alcoholic, maybe they should never drink alcohol. Because that's the only way for them uh, to know that they will not become addicted. We cannot tell them ahead of time that they will become an alcoholic if they drink. Alcohol is a chronic, relapsing, and ultimately fatal illness if you do not take care of it. However, those, those patients that follow up with uh, treatment, detox, rehab, continued therapy, plus maybe put on some medication to decrease craving, have a very good prognosis long term.